Hi, my name's Matt. This is my 2015 Motor Goods Grisso, and I'll be taking it on a bucket list item of mine, and that is riding around Tasmania. Now, on the way down, we're gonna look at some great roads through New South Wales and Victoria, and also do another bucket list of mine, and that's ride Phillip Island. Anyway, stick around. I'll be reviewing all the roads using the HEMA Maps Top 200 roads and actually seeing if they're still relevant and on the way down, I'll be checking out some interesting places along the way. I'll be sharing with you the highs, the lows of the trip, and everything in between. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Matt, welcome to Roads of Oz, and on this episode, we're heading south into Strahan from Zeehan, and the first section is quite nice. Look at that, oh. So the road running from Zeehan into Strahan is quite scenic, it is a very pretty run. It is a total contrast to the road coming out of Strahan, but we'll come back to that later. Yeah, no, but it's a pleasant ride road. in, and before you know it, you're in Strahan itself. So I've just had an, taken a break here at Strahan. You've got the uh, river cruises so you can go on. Won't be doing that. Um, not until I bring my wife anyway. Now Strahan itself is just a little town. It's like a little, um, what do you call it? would you call it a coastal town? But yeah, it is qu very quiet, very small. Um, you look at the map and you get this impression there's something more to it, but it's quite nice and quite, it's quaint. So now I'm gonna go across to the kitchen and channel Roger and Rochelle from Harley Throttle Juice and actually do a, my version of pie on the fly. Wish me luck. All right, so I just stopped at the kitchen at Strand. They bought their chunky chicken pie. It's okay. You don't come in for the pies, huh? I mean, for the waterfront views. Have a good look around. So the road from Strahan to Queenstown is actually a lot of fun. It is very bendy and some very good road. And according to the book, Queenstown, the Lowell Highway is quite tight and twisty as it works its way down along the ridge above the King River Valley. If it isn't raining, which unfortunately it often is, this is a great scratching road as you'll find anywhere in the world without being especially fast. And I agree with that statement totally. It was so much fun going through there. Stunning views like this, be sure to pull over, stop and take some photos. It's definitely worth your while.
coming into Queenstown, the first thing you realise is it is a small town. And I stayed at the railway hotel and the accommodation was basic but done the job. Alright, so it's a bit of a wet night, but slept fairly well. And time to get some breakfast. Now, as you can see, the weather looks... We're going to get wet today, but let's face it. So, I've done the prep on the bike. Uh, check the tyres, put the vibration damper on for the phone, which I haven't done since um, the track day, and probably not doing wonders for my phone. Anyway, let's take a walk around and have a look. I've just done a fuel delivery, which is perfect because I need fuel for the bike. But I want to show you some of the houses because they're quite. When you go to towns like this, they're not your typical urban sprawl suburbs that I'm used to. They're, they're, they're former mining villages or still current mining villages and they're quite different but it's not what you picture when you look at the map you expect it to be some sort of town oh, I can't explain it but anyway just check out some of these houses and some of the they're quite interesting so I saw this really cool garden art and I've just got to share it because it looks all it looks good I noticed it Walking home, but how cool is that? I do like it. Well, it's clearing up that way, but that way not looking so good. Anyway, we'll see how we go. So there's a nice little park here. <coughs> and they got a bike wash. Now, I was actually tempted to bring the, the motorbike up and give it a good scrub down, but it's not what it's meant for, so I won't be doing it. So this is the main street of Queenstown. It is almost nine in the morning. I'm gonna get myself some breakfast. I'm just not sure. Well, I don't want to get into going to the bakery. More pies. So as you can see, there's not much in the town of Queen. There's not much to Queenstown, but it is quite, it's still quite nice. And the roads to get here are fantastic. So it's definitely well worth visiting. I'd definitely come here, staying overnight in the pubs, all good value and um, and just duck up to a Thai restaurant. Their food is quite nice. I had, had Thai food last night and it was awesome. So here's where I stayed at the railway hotel. Um, rooms are quite affordable. I think mine was about $50, $50 or 60 bucks. So yeah, it's a very basic room, shared bathroom. And we'll go and have a look. Also, the bike parked right near, you can see the bike's parked right near the um, accommodation. So it's not like it's out in the street like it was in Melbourne. Oh, it's a, here's my room. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. I've laid everything out so I can pack it neatly. I do this at every um, every time I stop somewhere overnight. Unpack, go for everything I need. Then of the morning before I go, just before I go, I repack everything neatly. Unless I'm leaving early, then I pack it the night before but I'll lay everything out so it's just easier for me to find stuff. So, queen size bed, TV, and heater, no air conditioning required, and a sink, which is handy. Anyway, just like most other pubs, so yeah, good value. Anyway, let's get on the road. What an amazing collection. Oh, there's more up here. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, let's get on the road. <laughs> 